Okay, getting ready to install the outside unit here. That's the pad where they put the old unit. They were really poor at installing it. They just put uh, left on a shipping pallet, put a couple of put some blocks down to set it there, and then put this concrete pad around afterwards. So we're gonna have to make a pad, bigger pad here, and then put this um, equipment pad down on it. We just got finished removing the uh, old refrigerant lines. We're sitting down over here. There's the suction and the uh, discharge or the uh, high side. And yeah, now we're going to start wiping this hole so we can pull the new lines through. Okay, the line sets most of the way through now. Let's go see how it's going. <coughs> it's coming through this access up here. Across the top, we can see it better. Um, just goes down, <coughs> down this, if I can get a view of it. Let's see, I'm not getting a very good view. There we go. Yeah, the furnace is just farther down there. pushed a little bit too far. Okay, got the line set pulled in. It looks like we didn't kink anything along the way, which is good. It looks like we'll probably just run this straight down here, come across, and to the suction connection. Now we got to do run the uh, liquid line. I just pulled the cover off this to make sure the plan to run the uh, line across here is not going to obstruct anything. I'll do it have to go down a little bit to avoid the uh, screws right there, but other than that it looks pretty good. Both lines are installed now. Uh, this one was much easier because it's much thinner. Now we're just going to pull the control wire. And once that's done we'll uh, take out both of these units and mount them together properly. Here's the electrical panel where we've added a circuit for the air handler. It's this big uh, circuit coming in here, number three, uh, down to a 100 amp breaker. Uh, there's also an existing 30 amp circuit for that goes went to the old air conditioner, which we're reusing here. The reason I'm running all white wires is because I got this wire half price because it's slightly discolored. It's a little bit off white for some reason. Uh, so we just wrap the ends with tape to indicate uh, which uh, what the wire is. I was just checking the electrical connections here in this junction, original junction box. I found out the idiots never connect to the original ground wire. So I'm going to fix that and add a ground wire going down the conduit because they were using, well, just sort of, you tried to use the conduit as ground, but never connected the wire, so it was never getting ground. But that'll, be, that'll all be fixed now. I also found they're using some sort of weird crimp type electrical connection, which I'll swap back over to proper Marette connectors because who knows if they've crimped it properly. Okay, let's start assembling the uh, heat kit into the blower. To remove this door, then uh, take off the breaker panel. The heat kit then just slides in and bolts straight into here. The breakers uh, go in about here so the uh, switches can be flipped from the outside on the cover here. The heater itself is now in. Now it's going to mount these circuit breakers. The circuit breakers are in. And they seem pretty strong. Um, and then you just plug in this connection from the uh, heat kit, heat strip, into the uh, control board. And discard this other connector they give you in case you don't use a heat strip. And the circuit breaker over here provides power to the uh, control transformer and to the uh, blower. One thing I don't like about this is how they've just connected these uh, uh, power wires going over to the blower and control board right onto the 60 amp breaker. Uh, even though the authorities, uh, ETL in this case, have approved it, I am i don't like that. I'm going to put a, a fuse in here just to be safe. Here's the single point kit installed. Uh, one minor problem I had was the wires they gave. Uh, both of them were, they were all this size, and these ones will not fit into the uh, 30 amp breaker here. 
so I had to put my own on. Not a major problem, just an annoyance. The outdoor unit is too wide to fit through the uh, gate here, so we'll have to cut off the pole on the right to get it through and then weld it back on. Okay, now, the, now we can get it through. Let's just make sure we don't scratch anything. Okay. 